welcome back to The Oily Life. If you're new here, my name is Tanya, and on my channel I like to share all things natural living, essential oils, uh, natural DIYs, and some looks into how I run my business, uh, The Oily Life, which is my natural bath and body business. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my September Simply Earth recipe box. If you have not heard of Simply Earth before, they are an essential oil company that has uh, high quality pure essential oils and they're at a great price. I've used a lot of other essential oils um, and I found that um, Simply Earth really stands out as far as the quality of their oils oils and the fact that they want to make it accessible to everyone so they keep the oils um, really affordably priced. They also offer a monthly recipe box which is great whether you're a new essential oil user or you're a seasoned one. So in the recipe box you get four different oils every month, three single oils and a blend along with six recipes and some things you need to make those recipes. So it's a great opportunity to not only learn how to use your oils in different ways but also to increase your supply of essential oils um, since you are getting those four oils each month. And I pay for these boxes with my own money. I do have a code with Simply Earth if you use the Oily Life Free, where if you get a $40 gift card when you purchase your first recipe box. But as far as um, the recipe boxes themselves, I do purchase them every month. I love them, and I think they're great for anyone who is into essential oils to purchase and learn more about how to use their oils. So this month's box is kind of an everyday essentials, self-care uh, kind of themed box. And the oils this month, where the first one is Autumn Air. Love this oil, especially now that we're rolling into autumn. It's a really nice blend of cassia, which that's kind of like a, um, it's very similar to cinnamon, but I think it's a little richer than cinnamon as far as its scent. Um, it has lemon in it, it has hill wood, so a lot of great oils. Um, I believe there's fur in there as well. Um, so just makes your whole house have the fall vibes and smell wonderful. Um, so it's also great to add into cleaners and things like that. It has a lot of the oils in it have great cleansing properties. Um, so definitely we'll be using this guy a lot. Then the next oil is pine, also great for this time of year as we roll into the winter months. And it smells exactly what it says, pine, smells like a Christmas tree. Uh, pine is a very grounding oil as well as it has uh, great respiratory support properties. Um, so I like to mix pine with uh, like orange or bergamot. I think that just uh, they blend really well together. I also add pine into my immune, immune support roller that I use every day. Um, so this is an oil I keep on hand throughout the year. Then the next oil is bergamot. Bergamot is a citrus. It's not as sweet of a citrus as like an orange, but still has a really nice, clean, uplifting aroma. It's great to mix with things like lavender or patchouli. Um, they pair really well together. And bergamot also is uh, good for sleep support, even though that may seem counterintuitive uh, because it's a citrus. It really does also help uh, kind of relax and uh, let you get better sleep as well. And then the last oil is Hoewood. Now I have I had this in blends before, but I've, this is my first time having the single oil. So very excited to have this on hand now. And Hoewood kind of smells like a less intense frankincense. So it is kind of woodsy, but has a little bit of a sweet side to it as well. And it's great for women's wellness support. Um, it is very calming cleansing. Um, it's good for skin care, for hair care. So it has a lot of great benefits. Um, so it just has a lot of great benefits. Also good for immune support. So excited to finally have this on hand. And then as I said, um, each month you also, as I said, each month you also get six different recipes. One is always a diffuser blend and a roll-on, and then you have uh, four other ones, just various other recipes. And they send labels as well. I'm going to be uh, showing you how to make a 
uh, Enchanted Forest Lotion Bar today, and we're going to do it in a um, deodorant stick, which usually when I make lotion bars, I just do the disc, but uh, it'll be fun to see how um, I like using them with, when they're in the deodorant stick. If you don't have a stick like this, you can definitely make it without it. You just want something like a silicone mold. And then shea butter, which we will be using in our uh, lotion bar. And then a body wash powder. I think that one's going to be really cool to try out. I uh, haven't used anything like this before. So that'll be fun to make as well. And then that is everything I got in this month's box. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to making our Enchanted Forest Lotion Bar. All right, so for our lotion bar, I just have my melting pot here. You could also do this in a microwave safe container or a double boiler. So to our pot here, we're going to add a tablespoon of beeswax. A quarter cup of sweet almond oil, which sweet almond oil has a bunch of uh, great skin properties. My top's kind of like in there. That's okay. Get that poured in. And then we're going to add in a tablespoon of shea butter, which shea butter can be kind of hard to uh, measure out as far as tablespoons, but one tablespoon is equal to 0.5 ounces, so we're just going to weigh it out here. All right, so that is about 0.5 ounces. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this melted down, and then we'll come back and do our next step. All right, and now that we have that all melted down, we're gonna go ahead and add in our oils. And we're gonna do 10 drops of pine. Along with two drops of bergamot. That was closer to three, but no big deal. 10 drops of hoe wood. and five drops of the autumn air. And then along with that, we're gonna add in two tablespoons of arrowroot powder. Now the recipe that from Simply Earth calls for cornstarch, but I'm not a huge fan of cornstarch. Don't really like to use it all that much. So arrowroot powder is something you can easily substitute for the cornstarch. Um, kale and clay would also work. And then this is just the arrowroot or cornstarch, whichever you end up using, will just help cut down on the greasiness of the mixture. I'm gonna get a spatula to stir that in. There you go, you can kind of see in there. And once you've added in the, uh, whichever arrowroot, cornstarch, whichever um, you're using there, it will start to thicken up quickly. So you gotta be ready to move. Okay, so we're gonna now add it to our deodorant tube, and you can purchase these off Amazon if you don't have the recipe box. I'm just gonna pour it all in. And then we're just gonna let this set up until it is completely cooled, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, so as you can see, at this point, the bar is pretty solid. Well, it's, it is solid. <laughs> It's not pretty solid, it is solid. So it's been sitting here about three hours and it is completely cool to the touch now. It's solidified. Now to use the bar, all you would do is you're gonna roll it up like you would any deodorant. And then you just take it and you glide it onto your skin. It melts right on and then you just rub it in. Now what I will say for this particular formula, since it is so uh, heavily based with the sweet almond oil. It is um, one that would melt pretty easily, so I wouldn't leave this like in your car or anything like that. Um, just if it's in your house, you know, in a cool, like regular controlled temperature, then it's not going to melt uh, on you, or not unless the temperature goes up a lot. But I, I definitely wouldn't leave it, you know, uh, in your car or anything like that. 
Um, if you do notice that it did start to liquefy any, you could just pop it in the refrigerator. But um, it feels really nice, has a great smell. Um, if you wanted one that was um, a little more solid, you could just up the amount of shea butter and decrease the amount of the sweet almond oil. That would make for a more solid bar. Uh, but yeah, I really like how this turned out. And then to go along with that, let's pop the lid on there. Uh, you always get these labels when you uh, get a recipe box. So that way you can pop a label on it and know what you made. <laughs> and there's a place where you can put the date on it. That way you, you know, can remember um, how long you've had it and get rid of it if it, uh, would be past like its prime date. Um, what I would say is this would stay good uh, for based on the ingredients in it. There's no water in it, anything like that. This would stay good for at least a year, but anything time after that, and then you may just want to go ahead and uh, get rid of it and make a new one if it if it does last you that long. It's probably not going to if you use it frequently, but um, I would say you would have at least a year's sh um, shelf life on this. But this is just an example of some of the simple projects that come in the Simply Earth box. Uh, you know, like I said, they're good for beginners. It teaches you how to use your oils and nice stable recipes uh, that you can make with everything. But it's also great for people who have experience. Um, you can see sometimes I uh, switch out some of the components or kind of just make the recipes my own. But it's always nice just to have the fresh ideas. I make lotion bars all the time, but I've never done them in a uh, deodorant tube before so that was something new for me and I'll be interested to see how I like that compared to just my solid disc. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and seeing what came in my recipe box. If you did I hope you'll subscribe and become part of my community here on YouTube. You can also check me out over on Instagram. It's essentially.tanya over there and I share a lot more essential oil information and natural DIYs over there as well. So take care and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.